Hamilton and this is Garden TV and I am in the studio with Karen Chapman Hi. and you are the foliage expert I understand. <laughs> Tell me a little bit about yourself. Um, well, I grew up in England and when you do that you just your hands are in the dirt right it's nothing special you just automatically grow up gardening you know people exchange ideas over the garden fence with a cup of tea they exchange plants that way and so it was just very natural when I moved over here that I would just keep going and play with plants and eventually become a designer. Very good. So now you moved to the States in the 90s. That's and right. What brought you to the Pacific Northwest in particular? Yeah, at that time, um, my husband was employed by a company over here. And uh, they went through the usual kind of sequence of the hire and the fire thing. But um, we're still over here. He's still working. And when we eventually, I was able to get a green card, then I could start working in the horticulture industry. So that's been great, really enjoying it. And it seems like you kind of found your niche here in the Pacific Northwest. Now you've yes. been on television shows and yes. radio programs. Yeah. What typically is your topic of conversation? I mean, as far as when you're talking about gardening, what brings people to the table to hear what you have to say? I think most often container garden design. Um, that has expanded somewhat to be perhaps small space, which would include small landscapes. And that was really a container client that twisted my arm to do that because he said, you know, Karen, my garden isn't much bigger than a container and, he said, and I want an English garden design. So, you know, <laughs> really, how could I possibly pass that mm -hmm. up? And so that's how it just began to expand. And even though I now have five acres, um, I'm very comfortable designing for small spaces because it's so typical of an English um, home garden mm -hmm. as well. Well, that, and I think that um, you know some of those small containers, you don't realize what you can do with that. And right. uh, now you speak all over the. Do you, do you go abroad as well to speak? Do you go back I, home? I would love to. I haven't <laughs> got that opportunity yet, but certainly I'm going to be in San Francisco in a few weeks. I've just been speaking in Portland, and we'll be looking at going further towards the East Coast next year. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, I'm happy to go where everybody wants me to talk plants. I'm there. I just love what I do, and I love to share that. And it sounds like, you know, people are, people are asking for you. I mean, you yes. you've got quite a following now. Do you live here in, do you live in Seattle, or where do you live? No, we're um, in a more rural area. We're in Duval, which is about a 45-minute drive from here. And it reminds me very much of the English villages that we lived in. It's a small community where everybody knows me, which is so nice. And it's just big open spaces um, where neighbors have time for one another. And, mm -hmm. you know, I found I was losing sight of that. Um, we lived in Kirkland beforehand, which was great, but I felt like I was always rushing. Mm. And I feel now I can allow myself time to garden and allow myself time to talk to friends. And it, it's a different pace of life, but it's me. Yeah, good for you. Now, you've written a couple books, correct? Well, just one book. Oh, um, one. Definitely going to do more because it's been a great experience. But yes, we've just got Fine Foliage published with St. Lynn's Press. Mm -hmm. So exciting to finally have it in our hand. Very, very pleased. And then that gives you something also to kind of refer to when you're, when you're out giving talks and, and whatnot. It does, but it actually came from um, you know, the way I, I talk, the way I teach as I write, as I write books. Um, I try and help people understand design. I don't just want to give you a textbook and mm -hmm. say, this is how you do it. I like to be able to explain why plants go together, because I think that's far more helpful. And it's little things showing how the color of that stem picks up on the color of that leaf. Just those tiny details take it from something really ordinary to something um, more extraordinary, something that's more design, a professional mm -hmm. level. That's so good. we're able to do that in the book, and that takes it to a wider audience. Nifty. Okay, so now if you, if, if I could ask you, if you had like one gardening tip or something <laughs> that, you know, that is maybe your, your specialized tip that you oh like to gosh. give or something to that extent, okay. what, would you, what, would you, what would it be to our listeners and uh, our viewers? One, I mean, I, we've just written the book, and it's one. I, okay, I have to do two. I have to do two. Okay. One is to use oh, it no, really. Only one. Uh, oh, <laughs> don't do that to me. I'm going to have two. All right, we'll I'm going to have two. two. Okay. That's fine. So I suppose the one is to have really, really good potting soil. Do not go cheap on the potting soil all the way through the pots. Um, look for something which is high quality. So that's one. You're not going to have plants that thrive with second grade potting soil. But the other one is to squish. I am known for my squish <laughs> factor, and it's a very important horticultural term now. You should make a t-shirt. I think so, the squish factor. But you know, the idea is if you've got really good soil, you can pack those plants in there. And I like my containers to be big and lush and abundant and just look fabulous from the minute I've planted them. So if you think I can get one plant in there, I know I'm going to get two. 
Uh, so that's kind of, that's very me. That, that's the Karen effect. Well, good. I like it. The squish factor. The squish factor. <laughs> well, Karen, I want to thank you so much for coming and talking to us thank and giving you. us a little bit of information, background on yourself. I wish you great success in, thank you so in much. your uh, career. And you. uh, we'll talk with you next time. Sounds lovely. <laughs> thank you so much. I'm Holly Hamilton, and this is Garden TV.